What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm going to show you the software suite that comes with Asus's Z87 Expert motherboard. This is the AI Suite 3 and it's actually really useful companion software that comes with the motherboard here and it kind of has a lot of different things included in it that have to do with this motherboard. Some really cool features so we're going to go over all of that. Now starting off um, when you do open it up it has sort of like all of your things here for your voltages, your temperatures, and your fan here. So it gives you all of that information right here. Um, you know, all of your voltages, all of your different temperatures and your fan speeds and everything like that. Now, if you're gonna do any changes to anything like that or anything that has to do with the motherboard, you're gonna wanna go into the dual intelligence, dual intelligent processors four. So we go ahead and click on that. And um, there's this thing called four-way optimization. What that will do is, a automatically detect the best settings based on actual usage. Um, you can go ahead and enable that and it will run it and do all that. We haven't done any of that yet. Um, we have our TPU here. We have our fan expert. Um, and what this will actually do is it will run a benchmark on your fans and you can set the different modes within those fans, um, which I'll show you. These are kind of, all these things are up here, um, but this is kind of like their kind of like main control panel here. We can see our Digi Plus power control. We can see that optimized phases are turned off and active frequency mode is also turned off. We have our EPU here and this will actually show the wattage that the CPU is using currently. Um, and we can see our power saving here and all that, all that's disabled. And you can see your power saving formula. We have it set on high performance. You can change it to max power saving in away mode and automatic auto mode. Now going into the more specific settings, we have our TPU here, which is all of your settings for your CPU. So you can make changes to all of your voltages and your CPU frequency ratio, everything like that, all right here in the software. So if you don't like going into the BIOS, you can go ahead and set all this stuff up right here. You can also load and save profiles and you can change your CPU strap right here. It's just graphic put in here, just make it easier so you know what you're doing. You can set all of that up. Now we go into our EPU, which is our power saving. And this has some pretty cool stuff. It has different settings for each mode here. So um, we have it set on auto. So it kind of, these are different settings for auto. Now if you go to high performance, you can set the time for the monitor to turn off and for the system to actually go to sleep. And that's for the away mode. So you can enable the away mode even if you're in high performance mode. We have max power saving, um, which has all the settings for the max power saving. And then we have away mode, which is actually one really cool thing I wanna mention about the away mode is you can actually turn off the USB controllers on the, um, on the board. So if, um, you don't have a drive attached, the, the USB power will actually be turned off, which is actually pretty cool. Again, just saving that little bit extra power. We go to the Digi Plus power control. This is all of the controls for your power phases and everything like that for both the CPU as well as the DRAM. So you can change the load line calibration. You can change the CPU power thermal control, the CPU current capability, the CPU current voltage frequency, the CPU power phase control, and then you can turn the active frequency mode on or off and then you can change the CPU, dur CPU power duty control to the T-probe or extreme setting. And then for your RAM, you can go ahead and change the current capability, the voltage frequency, and the power phase control for that. Now, Fan Expert 2, which I talked about, it's for all of your fans and it will list all of your fans and then you can set them to different modes. Now, this has the fan tuning setting, which was that benchmark that I said, that will tune your fans for the best optimized setting for them, however they're set up in your case. And then for each specific fan, you can have them on their own setting, which is really, really cool. Now, if we get out of that, that's all of the stuff to do with tuning and setting up for your power and everything like that. But there's a lot more in the AI Suite 3. So we're gonna go out here and we're gonna go to the AI Charger. And what this is, if it comes up here, it will actually allow Apple devices to charge faster and you can enable and disable that. Um, so it says AI Charger is a unique fast charging software that supports the iPhone, iPod, and iPad, and you can go ahead and turn it on. Um, you know, so if you have one of those devices, you can charge them a lot faster with the USB ports on this motherboard. 
Go to that, we go to USB 3.0 boost. And one thing that we've always talked about with ASUS motherboards is their USB 3.0 boost. And what this does is this will actually allow you to boost the speed through the ASUS drivers of your USB 3.0 device. So normally we see about a 100 meg increase um, per second with this enabled. So it's really, really cool. So you should always have this enabled if you want your USB 3.0 ports to, or 3.0 devices to go a little bit faster. We have Easy Update, which is really awesome. It's going to allow you to update your uh, BIOS and everything like that. So you can easily check for updates. It will download them and install them for your BIOS, or you can manually do that. Um, you know, you can manually download the BIOS yourself and go ahead in here and update it. We have network eye control, and this is for the Intel network adapter that is on it. It shows you all of your current bandwidth and all of that stuff, and then you can set different profiles um, for everything. And then when you go into, or is it at here, um, your easy profile, you can set priorities based on the different um, applications that you have running, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, if you're really into tuning your network adapter, this is the perfect software for that. And of course, you have all your information on that network adapter as well. And we have our system information, which is more or less gives you all the information on your motherboard, your CPU, and the SPD information for your memory. And then we have USB BIOS flashback. And what this does is this will allow you to easily update your BIOS, but on top of that, it will schedule BIOS downloads as they come out and automatically update your BIOS without you having to do a single thing. And then we do have our USB charger, much like the AI charger. It is a fast charging capability for your USB device. Um, so if you plug in a USB device, you can see if it will be able to be fast charged with the USB ports that are on this motherboard. And then we have our Wi-Fi Go, which is actually really cool. It's a bunch of different programs here, which once it comes up, I'll show you that you can use with the Wi-Fi that's built into this motherboard. So you can do Cloud Go, um, which that allows you to remotely control and sync all of your files across cloud services in a few clicks with a RAID-like cloud experience. Um, so that would be for Android or iOS, and they have the um, QR codes there to download the apps. We have Remote Desktop. Um, that allows you to view and um, remotely operate your desktop with say like an iPad or a tablet or something like that. We have DNLA Media Hub that will allow you to share media across all of your devices. We have file transfer. Of course, that will allow you to transfer files across your different devices. We have smart sensor control and that will allow you to remotely control your computer through the different sensors on your actual mobile devices. We have remote keyboard and mouse, and then we have capture and send. So that allows you to do is, if I take a picture, say with my uh, iPhone or my iPad or something like that, and it has Wi-Fi enabled, I can go ahead and it will directly go right to my PC for easy saving and everything like that. So all these things are just made for the Wi-Fi that is built into this motherboard. And then finally, we have the Wi-Fi engine. So this does have 802.11 um, Wi-Fi, but on top of that, you can have the wireless set to be a client or an access point. So if I'm getting internet through my ethernet cable, I can set up my Wi-Fi sort of like a router and I can go ahead and share that connection with everybody. So that basically is it here for the AI Suite 3. Again, for all of the uh, motherboards that we reviewed, the AI Suite 3 is sort of like the best software out there to manage your motherboard within Windows. It just makes it so much easier. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later. Thank you.